Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do builder gel extensions. Builder gel extensions are a little tricky when it comes to the application part. So I'm going to give you a detailed explanation on how you can work with the builder gels. So before I start with the video, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel, like this video, share this video. And if you have any questions, suggestions, please leave that in the comment box. So now now let's begin with the video so to start as you know every extension need a good uh, dry manicure so for the dry manicure here I'm using my electrophile and the bit I'm using is a flame bit with red abrasive mark you don't see the red abrasive mark right now because of the sterilization process and all it kind of like uh, vanished but this is a red abrasive mark uh, uh, diamond bit and I'm doing my dry manicure using the electric file my machine is at a uh, 16,000 rpm speed here and on a reverse mode because I'm doing from the left side to right side once you complete the dry manicure using your, elect ele your electric files then you can switch to your hand files and remove all the shine from your nail plate and this is very important because 80 percentage of the time the extensions lifts because uh, you're not doing a good prep work okay so now the prep work is kind of completed so I'm using a cuticle nipper to uh, trim down the uh, dry skin around my epinechium area so now let's talk a little bit about the builder gel so the builder gel here we have today so i uh, included a bunch of different brands because i wanted to show you the difference between the consistencies so right now what we have is a bone pretty builder gel um, uh, and uh, as you can see here the thickness the gel see that thread it doesn't immediately fall down to the uh, container right so this means the builder gel has like a thick consistency now here we have a second brand which is called canny and this one is like a very loose consistency builder gel okay so now if i pick up a bead as you can see immediately the thread falls back onto the bottle which means this one has like a very uh, less viscosity or less uh, the consistency is a little loose and now third we have uh, another brand called TND this is one of my favorite brands I have their acrylic products gel polishes and all but builder gel I did not really like it but let's see the consistency here also if you see uh, the thread immediately started falling back onto the container which means this again has like a very loose consistency now this is from model ones and uh, now you should really see because uh, from all the gels that I have this is the thickest uh, builder gel that I have so as you can see when I scooped a bead it did not leave the brush at all which means it has a good thick consistency and if you're a beginner you can start with such consistency so lastly I have TPNA uh, builder gel this again is a medium consistency as you can see it does fall from the brush but it's not like super fast as we have seen in the canny brand okay so the brush I'm using is a synthetic brush a square type again from bond pretty brand and i am now going to start with the extension process so for any extension after the dry manicure you have to start with a dehydrator so dehydrator is basically to uh, remove all the excess oil uh, moisture from your nail plate and once this is done you can start with the acid free primer and since we here we are doing a gel extension we need a, a base coat layer here so i'm applying uh, TNT's base coat uh, that to a very thin layer once you do this you can put it for curing so here I'm doing it for 30 seconds and you can change the curing time as per the brand of gel polish you are using and as per the uh, lamp that you are using if it says you need to put it for like 60 seconds then you need to put it for 60 seconds and for the extensions I'm using paper forms here and I will also post another video where I have used uh, uh, plastic tips uh, to do the extension so that you will know the difference between uh, both these techniques okay so here I peeled off the uh, paper foam from its sticker part and then I attach the tiny part right behind uh, our forms and then I close the tip of the foam just like that and then I used a scissor to cut and open the back side of the foam some people may ask why do you use a uh, scissor why don't you just uh, you know tear it with your fingers because 
I don't prefer touching the glue part so much with my hands rather I use my um, scissor to cut it and it's much 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 more easier in my opinion and after that just measure the corners of the nail and uh, um, as you can see I use my scissors to mark the corners and then I'm going to do a deep cut on these two corners this is uh, actually to make the foam bend very nicely around the free edge corner otherwise your, your foam should always be inside the nail plate when i say inside it should be smaller than your nail plate width okay and then you can just close your forms like this and the form should be really tight and it should not be moving uh, when you start applying with the product if it's moving that means your form is not tight and then it will eventually uh, kind of spoil your application process okay so here uh, I'm going to start with my application but as you can see uh, here we have a little bit of bubbles on the uh, gel because I just mixed it a little bit so to break it I'm spraying a little bit of alcohol and as you can see immediately the bubbles burst because of the alcohol and now uh, this is how I pick up the bead so just just hold the brush in a side angle and then just scoop it turn it and break that thread and that's how we pick up the bead okay so now let's see one more time um, just hold your brush in a side uh, 45 degree angle go inside the gel then scoop it up and turn your brush a little bit and it will break that thread and then you will have the gel on one side of the brush and the second other side will be like completely clean now we are going to start with building the free edge so as you can see i release the gel at the center side of the nail then i using the uh, then use by using the brush i'm going to uh, build the uh, build the length and also simultaneously i'm going to connect the gel uh, to the free edge of my nail plate okay so you can start from one side and uh, go to the other corner or you can do the corners first from one corner to the other corner and then work towards the length uh, the nails that I am doing is a little longer so that's the reason I uh, started from one side and went all the way to the length that I wanted uh, rather than going from side to side. So this way you can just uh, pull the gel and create the length and shape that you wanted to create for the nails. Just make sure um, uh, the, the product is uh, connected with your nail plate okay so then after this we are going to send it for curing so right now I don't do like a full cure because here we uh, I don't want it to be completely cured uh, uh, but just semi cured and then if you want you can remove uh, your foam like this but be very careful uh, because if we uh, if we do like uh, with a lot of uh, pressure then it might break because we only created the free edge okay so here we have the free edge and once we have the free edge you if you want you can keep the foam as it is and build the whole nails or you can remove also file and do a little shaping uh, because there is another kind of application which is no filing application right so for that we do it like this and we just gently shape the uh, free edge that we created and then we do like a kind of an overlay so we, you don't have to really file it okay but here we are not going to do the no filing technique so what i'm doing right now is i'm applying a slip paste so i picked up a little product on my brush and then i applied it on the nail plate and also the excess i uh, applied all the way to the free edge the free edge that we created so basically why we do the slip layer is because when we take up the next bead for the cuticle and apex building we want the gel to float on the nail plate very easily okay so um, if we don't have that slip base then it will be a little difficult for us to push the gel around okay that's why we do the slip base and whenever we are doing the gel application just make sure that your fingers are pointing downwards so that the gel doesn't go towards your skin but instead it will go towards the free edge side so here what i did i pushed the uh, gel towards the cuticle as well as towards the side corners of the nail and once this is done what i'm doing is i'm picking up a thread and then i'm doing a pendulum motion from left to right and right to left but when i'm doing this movement what i'm doing is i'm only pulling the excess gel so here i'm keeping the thickness but the excess only i'm pulling 
down and moving it left to right so now my product uh, was over here so I picked up another bead and then I restart from where I left the last time so again taking the gel going from left to right left to right and then go all the way to the free edge and then break it okay so this is one way and once this is done you're going to turn your finger and then here I couldn't show you in the camera but what I'm doing is turning my finger and letting the gravity pull the center thickness uh, and then I'm also using the brush to just kindly move it around a little bit so that I have a good apex and I have enough thickness at the center area so now on the thumbnail I did not remove the foam I kept the foam as it is and then I started with my uh, what we call slip layer so I personally prefer a round brush but for this video I have used this square type but I think the round shape brush is more comfortable for application purpose that's personal opinion and now after this I picked up like a good big bead and see how I'm releasing it after touching the gel on the base of my nail and then I'm just turning the brush rotating the brush so that 90% of the product will go on to the nail and then I can just use my brush like this see how I'm gently pushing it towards the cuticle and the sides of the nail then uh, along with that I'm also building my apex uh, and the thickness at the center of the nail okay and here just make sure that uh, especially the growth point the side uh, end of your nails you have to make sure that your product is equally distributed otherwise it will start cracking from the corners okay so again I picked up a little bit more product on the brush again we are doing the uh, pendulum movement from one side to the other side only pulling the excess gel not the entire gel only the excess gel we are pulling and bringing it all the way here and see we already have a nice apex build then let's just do a little turning and then align the gel a little bit and then let's send it for curing okay so here the curing is at least a 90 second i cure uh, since it's builder gel i don't want uncured product so i uh, instead of 60 seconds i go for 90 sometimes i also go for like 120 seconds okay depending the lamp that i'm using and now i have built nails on all my fingers and after that whenever we are doing any kind of gel application whether it's poly poly gel or uh, builder gel we have to wipe it with uh, what we call alcohol and lint free wipe because there is a tacky layer on uh, to after curing there is a tacky layer, uh, tacky layer over the uh, extension so we need to remove that before we start with the filing so here i'm using a 100 180 grit file and i'm using the 180 side because gel is very easy to file so we don't want the 100 side touching the gel because uh, unless you have like extra thickness built up then obviously you can use 100 side otherwise just 180 side is more than enough to file and shape the uh, gel extension so here i'm just uh, creating an almond shape from both the sides and then i'm going to gently buff and give the surface a smooth finish After filing, shaping, buffing uh, and cleaning, uh, this is how our nails looks like, uh, beautiful simple almond uh, nails and now I am going to use a cat eye gel, so this is from Bolt B, you must have seen the review video on my channel before, so I am using this one, this is a 90 cat eye, so I am going to start with a thin layer first and then I am going to create the magnetic effect, this one creates like a diamond like uh, shine uh, when you like uh, use your magnet to create the magnetic effect so now let's just see how it turns out
so everything is done i'm applying a little bit of cuticle oil just to make sure my skin is moisture and after applying the cat eye i used a little bit of watercolor ink just to give it like a different a slight tint of colors so that's why you see different colors here and after applying the cuticle oil just do a little massage and that's our final nails so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you like it don't forget to like share um, uh, subscribe to my channel and any questions suggestions please leave that in the comment box i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy thank you for watching